This is the order of God that his people worship testify. Give their hearts out. Amen. Praise God. Blessed be to your people. Yes, we are. I just want to tell you, I talked to Brother Luke in between services. And he was doing very well. In fact, he was encouraging the people around him. Yes, he did. And they were telling me a story about how when they <coughs> first took him into the ER and they rushed him into surgery, the doctor was telling him, Mr. Weiner, you do realize how serious this is, don't you? He said, yeah, I understand. He said, but, but Mr. Weiner, you're awful cheerful. <laughs> he said, yeah. Is that a problem? And uh, every day... <coughs> His daughter and my sister were really crying because they thought they were going to lose him. And the doctor was telling him all the downside that, you know, if one of those clots in your lungs come loose, we, we really can't do anything about it. You know, it can go to your brain. It can go to your heart. And, and we're going to lose you, Brother Luke. Or we'll just lose you, Mr. Weiner. He said, that's all right. <laughs> and the doctor thought he was nuts, of course. But there's where I want to get to. I want to grow to the statue where my brother is. Because... He was, he was, he was lifting up everybody else in the room and telling them, you know, it's a win-win situation. There's no sense in you crying for me because if it's my time to go, I'm going to wake up my new body, what Brother Lee was talking about. So he's like, I forget what apostle it was, but the day that they were going to um, first or execute him, he ran to the execution and said, you know, I've been waiting for this day all my life. I'm sure they thought he was nuts too. But Luther said, you know, and if it's not my time, you know, God's going to take care of it. He'll take care of it. So that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. You know, God has a way of humbling you because here I've been going through this puny little trial, just puny compared to what my brother's going through, you know. And here I was such a failure, falling on my knees and saying, Lord, I don't think I can do this, you know. And now it makes you, you, he just got a way of showing you that, you know, I'm taking you through a little trial. You know, it's nothing compared to what my brother's going through. But I'm just, I'm just so uh, happy that you know he has that kind of faith and he's grown up. You know, and he, yeah, and he's he's not worried about it because he knows either way he's going to be covered. And the Lord gave me this song. I, you know, sometimes you can listen to a CD. I don't know, 50 or 11 times, and all of a sudden this song just jumps out at you. And I, it goes kind of quick. It's with the Mike Bowling, and I really love it. The name of the song is called Give You the Glory. And the first verse just jumped off the radio or off the CD at me. And I want to, in case it goes so fast you don't hear the words, I wanted you to hear the words. It says, Hear my cry, O Lord. Hide not thy face from me. In the midst of all my trials, you're the only truth I see. And I know that without you I'd fall. That was me. But with you, I can conquer it all. And that, that really touched my heart. So, uh, Brother Dave, if you'll help us out there, Brother Tracy. Amen. Uh, it's cut number three. And uh, it's with my goal. I love this song.